Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jada Brianni, and I am back with another video. Y'all, the sunlight is hitting today. Chicago has been having nice as weather. Yesterday, it was down near 80 degrees. Today, I think it's gonna be like 74. Baby, we outside, okay? We outside. <laughs> I have, um, I have so much to catch y'all up on. Um, let y'all know how life been, where I am. That's gonna be a whole nother separate video, but I wanted to get on camera today and pretty much take y'all on my day with me. Um, I have a meeting with a team lead today. So I am recently a leasing agent in the city of Chicago, state of Illinois, um, but I specialize in the Chicago market. Um, so I have a meeting with the team lead today. He um, works out of the downtown office and he specializes in all of the downtown high rises. So I want to join that team. Okay. I want that to be a part of the brand. You know, that's the reason why I got into leasing um, because I just grew this passion for real estate, like real heavily. Um, I've always wanted to get into real estate. Um, but when I learned about the leasing side, I was like, oh yeah. I need to go ahead and tune in. So, <clears throat> anyways, I have a meeting with the team lead today, trying to join his team and, you know, get in, get in the downtown market. And um, then I'm going to go to the office. We have three different office locations. My brokerage has three different offices. I said three. So, I'm going to go ahead and go down to the main office, the Fullerton office, and I'm going to do a little work after my meeting with the team lead. Um, I'll probably do like some ads and stuff. I have my day planned out. I gotta post some ads to market a few units so I can get these sales, okay? And then I have a showing today at four. So a client wants to view one of our apartments. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the client that. Wish me luck. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much my day. Then I'm gonna head back home and probably do some stuff within my credit repair business later on today um i haven't planned that far out ahead but like from now right now it's 9 40 i'm about to leave out um actually now i gotta get my coffee it's done brewing um <clears throat> so i'm pretty much just about to finish up my coffee i'm ready um and then i will see y'all in the car Hey y'all, so we are in the car now and I am on my way to Chicago. Um, I live in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago. So I live about an hour away. Um, truthfully like 45 minutes without traffic, but it's Chicago. So about an hour, sometimes it takes me over an hour to get to Chicago, um, especially depending on where you're going. Like if I'm going up North, it'd probably be like an hour. If I'm going downtown, it's going to be a little over. If I'm going um, out south, baby, it'll be taking like an hour, hour and a half, two hours. Anyways, um, and I don't go out west. I don't mess with out west. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, we are in the car now. And I just decided to get on camera and talk to y'all for a little bit. <clears throat> um, So pretty much... I don't even know what to say, y'all. I've been gone for so long. Like, I don't even know how to hold a conversation with y'all no more. <laughs> but um, I'm back. And I just want to record my journey as a new leasing agent. Just this new era of my life, I've just really been working on reinventing myself. Um, to be honest, I feel like a completely different person, a completely different woman, and I'm continuously elevating, and it feels so amazing. Like, the current mindset that I'm in right now, man, I thank God. Like, I've been building a relationship with God, y'all. I be finding myself talking to God. I've never talked to God before, but like, it's, it's almost scary. It, it's almost scary, y'all. Like, whew, I'm getting a little emotional because I've came a long way. And especially, like, with the year that I've had last year in 2023, it had, it was such a rough year for me. I've had such a hard time um, mentally, financially, physically. Like, I was at my absolute lowest. And I've um, experienced, like, lows before, but I've never experienced a low like I had in the year of 2023. 
I got so low that I strayed away from my businesses. Um, I wasn't doing anything with any of my businesses. Like, y'all, it is crazy. So I'm very thankful that God literally pulled me through that episode. He pulled me through that season. He pulled me out of that freaking season, y'all. Like, so to just be where I am today, I'm so thankful. I'm very thankful. But, um, like, I've just, man, I've been working on myself, working on my mental, working on my internal dialogue and how I think about things, my perspective on things. So instead of me dwelling around like, oh, last year, like if I wasn't going through this, I could have achieved this, 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 that, and the third, or my business would be so much further, I would be here. Like, no, I'm thankful for everything that I went through last year. I'm thankful for every single um challenge and just anything negative that I've experienced last year because honestly it's what built character and it's the exact reason why I'm in the mindset that I'm in now today like I needed to experience that low I needed it and I'm I'm thankful for it I'm thankful man y'all I know I'm being real very repetitive right now but I don't think y'all understand like and to be honest this is use it as encouragement like if you in a low space right now like I'm, t this is my testimony. Okay, just keep going. Like that shit. Like it's very cliche when people be like, oh, you know, it's only temporarily. Like you're gonna come from out of this storm and stuff like that. That's very cliche, but it's so true. It's so 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 true. And when you start tapping into yourself, like your inner God <clears throat> and your spirituality and stuff like that, and you start feeding your brain with positive things and changing your mindset changing your perspective when it comes to certain things like that helps as well like you have to really tap into um a lot of different things and i think i'm gonna bring that to the channel as well like i think i'm gonna have like different segments or different videos let me know what y'all think of where you know i teach you all about like getting through those dark times and you know staying positive through those dark times and pretty much just reinventing yourself changing your mindset when it comes to certain things um let me know because i feel like I'm, I'm at that stage at that era in my life where i feel like i can talk about it i'm able to share my testimony i'm able to share my story and i, I think I'm, i want to create content like that and i just want to take y'all on my day-to-day -day life and show y'all my journey me literally starting all over again like this is me this is day one for me well day one for me was last week but you know like this is me starting from the beginning again and you know i'm 26 years old i'll be 27 this year i know like you know especially as women we always put like a, a age or a time a time step on things but here i am starting all over again like and there's a lot of young women i used to do uber and there was this young girl she was only 19 years old she got in my car and she was just telling me how like she was overwhelmed because she didn't know what she wanted to do with her life and how you know she ended up losing like a relationship with her mother um because she was from a whole nother country and her mother brought her over here because you know she's like i brought you over here to get a better education so you can you know make something of your life but you know she kind of the girl she was just like she just feels so stuck or whatever and we had a conversation and i encouraged her i said girl i'm 26 years old right now and i say i don't even i have no clue what i am doing in life i have no clue what i want to do but i can tell you one thing when i was 19 years old i my mindset was fixed on becoming a nurse so i thought that i would be a nurse at rn now today i don't want to be no damn nurse or no rn i still like man i have so much respect for nurses and anyone in that field but it wasn't for me and i feel like you know especially within the black community there are certain things like um like okay you got certain people who come from a certain survival like especially from like from a certain life they come from like survival so they feel like they got to get out here and sell dope or whatever they that's all they know or a lot of young guys feel like oh they got to make it to the nba and as a woman i feel like nursing is one of those things for us like we, it, it, it's just crazy and that's a whole nother conversation but um i'm just glad i did not get into nursing because i know today i probably would be burned out within that industry and i truly wouldn't be happy i don't think that nursing was my passion now i know that god my calling is to help people um and i think i found it now it's helping people um 
helping people out financially and now being able to help people with their, right now I'm only um, limited to doing rentals, but eventually I'm gonna get to buying and selling transactions. So I'll be helping people, you know, make decisions when it comes to um, investing into their home. So my calling was to just help somebody. Like I knew like, I just wanna help people, I just wanna help people. I thought it was gonna be with the nursing health wise, but that wasn't my calling. <laughs> you know, like to go to into that particular field. And it's like, now I think I'm learning this now. Like my businesses now are based around like finances and things like that, teaching women financial literacy and teaching women all about their credit and teaching them about how to invest in some real estate. Um, and just different aspects. So um, it's like now I, 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 I believe, I truly believe that I found my field. And I, I, man, I'm happy. I know it's the beginning, you know, you're always excited for things in the beginning and then eventually you can get burned out or whatever. But I, I'm truly, genuinely happy. And I don't think I've ever been this genuinely happy upfront with anything that I've ever done um, in life. And that's like career-wise, um, job-wise, whatever. But I love it. I love being able to have access to all of these different um, apartments and units and stuff like that. I love being able to go in and do showings. I love being able to dress up. Um, <clears throat> I, I just, I love it. I love it. I love that I'm breaking out of my shell. I'm getting comfortable with communicating with people. I grew up my whole life quiet. I'm still quiet, but it's like the older I get, the more I break out of that shell. And I'm very talkative now very talkative um i'm tapping into my saleswoman side and i'm just elevated all around y'all i'm on this expressway i'm trying to get over that's in my truck gonna speed up you know what he was doing but i didn't even mean to i meant to come on here for like a couple minutes just to check in it's already been, been like 10 minutes of me just talking but i feel like i needed to i needed to get that message out there because i wake up in the morning now um, I got up at 8 o'clock today. I was supposed to get up at 7, but I slept in for an extra hour. But I get in the habit, I got I got to myself into the habit of waking up and I try not to scroll social media. The first thing I'll do is, like, I won't even be on my phone, right? I'll just, like, sit there, um, kind of just, you know, getting my thoughts together for the day, trying to get myself into a positive mindset. Um, and I watch podcasts. So I watch a lot of different videos um, on YouTube, positive videos on, like, how to, um, Honestly, about anything, <laughs> anything, but as long as it's something positive, something motivational, I put it on and it kind of just sets the tone for my entire day. So I definitely watched a video earlier this morning um, and while I was getting ready and now I'm just, I'm in a great mood. I dressed up so I feel good. I look good so I feel good. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm headed to Chicago and I'm actually about to play my music now. So I'm gonna get back on camera. I don't know how I'm gonna do this video. I don't know if it's just gonna be like a little short, maybe like 50 to 20 minute video, or if I'm just gonna do like a weekly vlog, turn this into just like a weekly vlog. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Um, we just gonna go with the flow, okay? We are gonna go with the flow and we are gonna see what works for us. And then, you know, we are gonna go from there with the channel. But I will talk to y'all in a few. Hey, y'all. I just left my meeting. I just wanted to get on camera and let y'all know what's up. I got a lot of confidence after this meeting, baby. I'm recording, I'm outside recording in front of people. Again, stepping out of my comfort zone, but I'm about to just head to my car, head to the other office, do some work. I'm so excited, y'all. The meeting went really well. So, yeah. Um, Let me flip the camera, get y'all some views. This is my view. So I'm just walking to the car, which I'm literally right around the corner. Um, but yes, I'm gonna hit y'all when I get to the car. So I made it back to the car. Um, y'all, I'm so mad. I waste coffee on my freaking shirt, like literally right before the meeting. I don't know how it happened, but like it's just always some shit <laughs> always some shit but i i think i've been professional today i have on a bra but if i was not you know in my professional mode maybe the girls would be out okay the girls would be out i'm gonna just keep it a buck <laughs> but there's a time and place for everything 
Um, I'm in the car now. There's this guy behind me. He was low key parked right there when I um first pulled in. My meeting was probably like 30 minutes. I paid for an hour and a half of parking. My meeting was only 30 minutes. He said it was gonna be an hour. I paid for an eight. An, I should just pay for 30 minutes. But I paid for an hour and a half. So I'm really just still sitting right here. Just be sitting right here. I probably didn't even have to pay, truthfully. But there's this guy behind me. I guess he said his battery died. He like, hey, ma'am. He like, do you have um cables? I'm like, no. I do have cables, but no. We in Chicago, baby. Like, people, you just be in a different mindset when, <laughs> man, look, listen. No, I ain't got no cables. I can't help you, stuff. <clears throat> but anyways, um... The meeting went really well, so I will be joining the team. So I'm super, 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 super excited. I will, he sent me like a listing of a whole bunch of different downtown apartments that I can go and tour, go in and get content. Um, so tomorrow they have a group tour at one of the buildings downtown and I'm going to be a part of that group tour. Um, I'm super excited. Like um, he was, you know, telling me about a little bit of the other agents on the team and how like they have their own websites how they do their own marketing on social media and i was just like gee that's literally everything i'm trying to do like i already have my website laid out of how i want my website to look um and just pretty much my entire brand like i have my entire brand mapped out so i'm super 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 excited and to under well to know that there is other people on this team literally doing the same exact thing that i'm trying to do just motivates me even more and like <clears throat> they're doing it so if i have questions like i have people that i can ask questions to i feel like by me being a new agent it's important like it's imperative for me to be a part of a team and get the mentoring and support that i need and i was explaining that to him and he's like yes you definitely would get that on this team um and he's like you're gonna pick up on the downtown market in no time because i was like man i can't wait to learn these different buildings and know like be able to point them out he was like you actually will catch on a lot faster than what you think like it's man i'm excited so um yeah so i think i'm about to go ahead and no think i am about to head to the other office i don't need to go because i ended up having to cancel my 4 p.m tour because they ended up reaching out to me saying that oh they can't do 4 p.m they could do 6 p.m now my client isn't available at that time so i have to cancel that tour so i have no tour today but i'm still going to keep myself i'm going to stay disciplined and i'm going to go to the um to the other office i'm gonna go in there and work um see who's in the office or whatever um i don't really talk to anybody yet but yeah i'm gonna just go to the office and look into these buildings my team lead just gave me do a little research on those get content pull like photos or whatever and begin to market those units and then tomorrow we have a tour at one of these buildings and he said it's a penthouse he said it's a penthouse so i'm able to go inside of there and get content um and I might possibly schedule other tours, but I'm a little nervous to schedule anything extra because I don't know how long that's going to take. Um, I don't know if maybe afterwards we might get into something. Like, I just don't know. So I don't want to schedule anything um, just yet. <clears throat> yeah, I see that guy. He just got out the car. I feel bad. But then again, like, like I said, I can't help you, sir. I can't help you, good sir. Um, but anyways, um... Uh, yeah so i'm about to go to the office i'm not sure if i'm gonna record that part um maybe i don't know we'll see um i know i'm gonna be getting ready to wrap up this video some and i really hope y'all enjoying this content um yeah like it's only up but i'm about to go to the office i should give me something to eat um but i don't know what to eat I feel like I'm fine. I really can go for just like a little snack. But yeah, there's a subway right here, but I don't really want that. Um, so we'll figure it out. I'll talk to y'all when I talk to y'all. So as you all can see, I made it to the Fullerton office. Um, I didn't get an outro for this video so i'm just doing a quick voiceover for this portion um and then we're gonna close it out i did stop to get something to eat i ended up going to wendy's and getting one of those grilled chicken wraps it was okay i don't know if i would buy it again like it was all right but i pretty much just ate my food worked i was at the office for about two to three hours 
I updated a lot of my ad listings. I added new ads of different apartments to market. Um, I was getting a lot of leads, so I was communicating with a lot of people today. Um, but for the most part, yeah, I left, headed home before traffic started. And as of right now, I'm just editing this video and I'm hoping to get it out to you all very soon. Um, but just be on the lookout for more videos like this of my day-to-day -day life as a new leasing agent in Chicago. I really appreciate you all for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because you're going to love it here. Bye!